Welcome to Living Fuel TV. I'm Casey Krejci, special guest, Dr. Greg Wells. Welcome back, Greg. Thanks very much for having, for having me again. It's awesome. Well, we were just having a discussion, and <laughs> let's see, two minutes ago, you had a blast of Super Essentials Aminos. Okay, I did, I, And yeah. I was telling you that within a minute or two, you're going to see things in terms of mental clarity and color that you you're not going to believe. Tell us what just happened when you just had. <laughs> so let me give you a sense of my day so far. So I woke up and went and did a two and a half hour practice as a coach slash physi physiologist with the national team. And I had fruit all morning just because that's what was around, berries and, and, uh, and a banana. And so when I arrived here, and we've been talking for a little while now, I was definitely feeling a little bit tired. So I pounded that, I mean, the, the aminos, and within about 45 seconds, and, you know, I'm, I'm speaking as a scientist now, so I'm a little bit unnerved by the fact that I can see colors like crazy. Uh, my concentration level has shot through the roof. I'm no longer tired. It's really a little bit unnerving. I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's pretty, pretty crazy. I tell you, I wrote chapter 11 in my book, The Super Health Diet, about protein metabolism and amino acid metabolism and presented all the research behind that super essentials aminos. And, but you really, you really can't understand it until you do it. I have pro athletes that say that like they're in the middle of their sport and they're so hyper concentrated. Every little detail matters. And like when they're hitting a baseball or a golf ball, whatever the case may be. So I can't explain to you the mental aspect of this and the concentration aspect of it, but I can tell you what is going on in the body is really good. You yeah. know, the fact that you get, you know, you just had 15 grams. So 15 grams is going to be in your bloodstream within 20 minutes, but obviously it was in your bloodstream within 45 seconds. Yeah. So something's going on here that's just pretty <clears throat> fantastic. Yeah, I don't, I'm going to have to think about it a lot more, but you know, if we think about what amino acids and what proteins do for the human body, are, and all the enzymes which deal with all the chemical processes in our body, those are proteins and amino acids, our neurotransmitters which communicate between nerves in our brain and also between nerves and muscles, those are based upon uh, amino acids and proteins. And in my, in my book, which uh, you, you wrote a wonderful uh, supportive statement for, uh, I deal with a lot of issues around how people can concentrate in the middle of the day and trying to deal with that 2 p.m. crash that most people 10 experience. 10 p.m. and 2 p.m. 10 p.m. and 2 p.m. and oh, 10 a.m., sorry. No, sorry, yeah, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., yeah. sorry. I'm so overwhelmed by all these colors and my ability <laughs> to think. I don't, I'm making all sorts of mistakes but because I'm excited all of a sudden. And uh, really that involves trying to help people to take the right nutrients at the right times and increasing the amount of protein that people are taking and decreasing the amount of carbohydrate in our, in our diets. Not to say that we don't need any because it does fuel the body, but sure. certainly increasing the amount of protein. And what that does is it changes the neurotransmitter levels in your brain and in, in alters the relationship between two neurotransmitters, tryptophan and tyrosine. And if we can do that properly, that will supercharge people's ability to concentrate during the day and difference help people to... Difference in test to, scores, difference in the concentration during work. Uh, clarity of, of concentration, me, a mental ability to do problem solving, concentration, all of the things that we need in the middle of the day to be able to perform our jobs really, really well. well how about these mid-morning and late afternoon uh, super coffee blast, sugar blast, all yeah. things in the little uh, energy drink that people buy in the little bottle like this and drink. How bad is that for the, for the body? Yeah, I mean, when I'm at, uh, at work, you know, when you go down at 10 o'clock or you go for a walk at 10 o'clock, you see the massive lineup for coffee and for simple sugars. And that will help people for a very short period of time, but then it will just lead to another crash, another vicious cycle where we're, where we're dumping sugars and caffeine into the body to try to deal with the pressures and stresses of our daily life. If and how can, does that increase the stress on the body? Well, it instantaneously will cause an inflammatory response and decrease the, the ability of the immune system to fight off disease. I think that's one of the reasons, our diet is un unquestionably one of the reasons why we're seeing increases in the rate of d depression, anxiety, and all of these other problems in our, uh, in our society. And so I think if we can help people to use nutrition to supercharge their concentration, to supercharge their energy levels during the, throughout the course of the day, people will be better able to make the right kind of decisions balanced approach to nutrition, using all the different uh, fruits and vegetables that are available to us, using superfoods to improve our immune system, to improve our health. And we really need to be able to support people to be able to do that through great education, through great uh, information, and through, in some cases, uh, products in order to help people to be able to do it in the crazy busyness of their lives. I've been having a super smoothie for breakfast for more than 10 years now. Never am I hungry between yeah. breakfast and lunch. Never. Am I hungry? Between I, I don't think about food. I don't want food. If I see food, I don't grab it. Right. It's about getting the right meal at the right time. I, I always tell people that to learn to fuel yourself for five to six hours mm -hmm. instead of you know giving yourself a, a high oatmeal, high carbohydrate, whether it's some juice 
breakfast or just fruit and you go up and you crash, like you say, mid-morning, which puts a demand on you for some more stimulant or carbohydrate or something like that. Yeah, we never want to allow the body to run out of energy. And, you know, there's some interesting new uh, information out that suggests that uh, we may be able to actually run out of fuel for our brains at certain times during the day if we're doing lots of concentration, lots of work, because there's no stored energy in the brain. It's all supplied by our, by our blood. So we really depend upon the nutrition that we take in every few hours in order for us to be able to maintain that level of concentration and focus that we need throughout the course of the day. And I know personally, if I eat well in the morning and support that with the right type of things throughout the course of the day, that I'm a completely different person, both in terms of my performance and on my job, but in terms of my health, and specifically, probably most importantly, in terms of my ability to have great relationships with the people that I'm involved in, both at work and at, and at home. What's the difference in a, in a young person's test score, even a college kid's test score, when they stay up late doing homework and then they play their video games and they go to sleep late, they have to wake up early to go to school, they skip breakfast or eat a Pop-Tart or some kind of normal American breakfast and then go to school. What's the difference in the test score of the person who slept through the night and had a superfood smoothie for hmm. breakfast? Yeah, I don't, I don't know the exact numbers on test scores, but I will tell you about the Canadian uh, ski team. And they had a number of athletes that were at training camp and in between workouts, between uh, morning and evening workout, they'd play video games. And these athletes just simply couldn't recover because they didn't realize that when you're playing video games, when you're pumping information into your brain, that you're actually activating all of the neurons throughout your entire body and you're wiping out your neurotransmitter levels. As soon as the athletes played less video games, and you know it's not like we have to eliminate them out of it, but we have to do it in a way in which the body can recover, everyone's performance went up. As soon as athletes start focusing in on their recovery through sleep, their, their performance improves. As soon as the athletes that we work with start using all three different major areas of nutrition, the proteins, high quality carbohydrates, high quality fats, everyone's performance, their health improves. And, and I think that's one of the main reasons why we, in the last Olympics in Vancouver, there were no positive drug tests. It's the first time in probably 30 years where there hasn't been a positive drug test because people are learning how to use nutrition. They don't have to rely on the pharmaceutical interventions anymore. There are, the information is out there now for us to live high performance, high quality, high health life. And we just have to make the tough decision in the moment, you know, in the middle of the morning when you're tired, when you're stressed and that coffee and, and scone looks so good, can you actually make the right decision and have the things that your body needs? And five seconds later after you do it, as I just experienced this morning, your, your mind and your body thank you and you end up having a high productivity, high performance, high health life. Fantastic. Great stuff, Greg. Look Thanks very to much. Future segments. Thanks for being with us. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure. I hope you can use this in your own life. God bless you and have a great day.